coin flip. No. Uh, good morning, good to see all of you, and uh, really appreciate your flexibility to be able to come in a little earlier this morning. Um, I really kind of, one of those things that happens is too bad that I had to go west on I-70 on Friday and east on Sunday, so uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, no. you can get out of, out of Dodge as quickly as possible today. <clears throat> Um, is Jill hooked in? She has an uh, indicated she's ready yet. Okay. Yeah, she, she's going to send a text when she is. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Jill has um, said she had a meeting with her boss on 9 and 10, so she'll contact us when she's oh. available. Oh, um, the boss takes precedent? Yeah. <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> I say that every day. Are this is your boss. All right. Can we have another agenda? Sure. Thank you. Oh, for lunch. Thank you. This is being awarded. It was a special day for a bunch of reasons. Last month, I wasn't able to attend, and Twyla did her first meeting last month. So welcome back again, Twyla. Oh, I'm sorry. And especially because we have. Mr. Robert Morgan is with us today. Yeah. Where's my, where's my, and uh, Bob, it sure is good to have you, have you here. Partner. Well, I'm still occupying space. <laughs> and uh, so, um, let's see. Can we call the order? I guess the roll's going around. We'll be going around. The roll is going around. Yep, it's around. And uh, you ready to do the minutes? Yeah. No. The question is, do you want me to read them or not want me oh, to read them? Oh, that's right. Uh, um, last a month to... we read them, oh. and the month before we didn't, and I don't know what works best. could ask everybody yeah. if they got them and read them. Did everybody get and read the minutes? Quickly. I got I read them. Yeah, I didn't get a chance. And uh, is there a motion then to approve the minutes as written? Make a motion to approve the minutes as written. And second. I'll second. Second by Vicky. All in favor of approving uh, August minutes. Say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Aye. Your opponent. No motion carries. <laughs> now we need a uh, motion to um, approve today's agenda. I move the agenda be. Approved. Moved by Karen, seconded by. I'll second. Mary. Thank you. Okay, so. Spoke to public comment. There's uh, well, Marina said this. Oh, the last oh. minute for you. You can keep them. Thank you. Oh, may I speak? Yeah. Oh, yes, I'd like to give you an update on rates across America. I mentioned we were looking for donations last month. Rates across America could not get the funding. It won't be decorating the Louisville Cemetery. But Christ the Servant Lutheran is sponsoring its own event. It's separate from Rings Across America, and it will be decorating the veterans' graves. So if anybody wants to contribute, they should talk to me. I have the list of the veterans' graves. If you want to make sure a resident of Superior is on that list, then check with me. They just need to be a service member. Does Marie know if uh, Gladys is going to do that at Superior? Um, I think it was in the minutes that maybe something about Gladys for she doing something similar. I, I don't think so. Okay. My manager would be service members from Superior in the Louisville Cemetery. I'm just guessing that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so, so 
Yeah, there's a lot of uh, superior folks that are married there. And um, I mean, I would just speak out. So <clears throat> we couldn't associate it with uh, Reese across America, but she obviously really wants to do this. So it's looking like it's probably going to be <coughs> December 7th. And, um, and there will be little tribute um, vases probably with flags and uh, something Christmassy. And I don't know what we're going to call it, probably Holiday Veterans Tribute or something like that. So, so wreaths across America wasn't able to do it, so the church is going to do it? The church is going to do it. And, and uh, you have to do it the wreaths across America way or it's a separate deal. So we're doing it as a separate, okay. separate deal. That's my understanding today. And she's looking for financial contributions. Yeah, to yeah, she's, uh, she's putting up the money to, so um, any contribution or time contribution so <clears throat> better explained by her through email so she'll send you a little more information about it okay <clears throat> is there like uh, do you have an idea of cost of how much they need to raise to fund it let me just let her know that we're talking about this. Okay, or or I can, if it's in the email, I'll read it. But I, I'm just saying maybe I can get, you know, I'll talk to my aunts. They visit the cemetery every year, and they may donate. I'm not sure. The Louisville Cemetery, though? Oh, no, the Superior. She's talking about the Louisville. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so okay. She, she estimates that if we do it this way, wreaths would have cost five to $7,000 to put wreaths in that program uh, she thinks she can do this for twelve or thirteen hundred dollars by having a lot of uh, our church volunteers putting together these little vases okay so uh, I think she's putting up eleven $1 hundred dollars and hoping that contributions will come in and okay. offset some of that yeah I mean my uncle my my aunt my great aunt or I guess she's my mom's cousin <laughs> my my great uncle Harold Spicer's in the Louisville Cemetery, so they may. I'll I'll check with Wilma, his daughter, and see if she wants to donate. Well, maybe we could consider a donation from the <coughs> contribution mm -hmm. from the historical commission too. Yeah, from this good. historical commission. Yeah, yeah. From that donations account. Or that donations account. That's okay. something to think about. Oh yeah, use the donations yeah, account for that. To, really. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. That would be appropriate anyway. Yeah, so I'll get her to send you all uh, the info that she has put together. Very good. Great. But our, oh, church, yeah. our church outreach committee is, has deemed it as something they want to get involved with. So that should be neat, especially if it's done on Pearl Harbor Day. That's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Right. So if we want to make action for that, when you need to do it on the new business? We can't really do it under public comment. Uh, and why don't we? I think so. Should we see? Have her send the email first and take a look at it. I think so. Because it's December, right? So we're okay yeah. on time to not do it this meeting. Okay. Or I mean, it's everyone's. Opinion. Yeah. I'll make sure she knows that uh, you guys talked about it, and I'll have her present what she's Thank doing you. with the church. And what she likes to do. So maybe we could put it. <laughs> For next meeting or something to mm -hmm. yeah, put decide on next, on next month's agenda. Yeah, that's okay. Wow, next month's okay. Give it time. So we would not do anything with the superior then? I guess not. Uh, not that we know of. No, yeah, not no, because Blas Forshi in town here has been talking about doing that uh, something with Superior Cemetery. So uh, see what evolves there. I think. Thanks to Maureen for that. Um, I'm we'll go into the. We will be the stream press. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Treasures reports from uh, Mr. Morgan. Wow. You get a chance. Mr. Well, I have a number here of five hundred and seventy-nine dollars and seventy-one cents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Way to keep track of that money, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, so I think that was a good idea, Brian. I'd let me use the donations account to make a donation. <laughs> From 
by the time somebody's taking care of it. <laughs> now, superior account. Uh, yeah, historic preservation account balance is $3,897.43. Okay, thank you. Old business. Museum uh, opening on September 7th. We had some people show up, huh? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Get me uh, wasn't a whole lot. It wasn't a real big group, I think. Yeah. But we had um, the Rizzo family. Jenny Crawford's granddaughter. Well, that's right. Um, yeah, Bob, you may not have heard that, but uh, uh, Jenny Crawford's granddaughter had me riding by on her bicycle and stopped off and spent uh, probably close to an hour there, I think. And Jenny was um, Denzel Ackland's sister, and uh, she grew up in the mine camp, too. So, so that was a nice little talk with her. Yeah, thanks for reminding me that, Mary. And I think that contact might lead to some more interaction with her, too, so in terms of uh, down the road. Louisville Labor Day Parade. Okay. Mary and I rode in the truck, and yeah. David and walked it. And Mr. Wallagorski. Oh, was I there? Yes, <laughs> I was. Yeah. Yeah. And Mr. and Mrs. Wallagorski who uh, then scurried home in their car, and then... Um, yeah, we had about four things going that day. And then I had to, I got, I got to ride out the uh, breakdown, so... <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the, uh, it was a funny deal, because we, everything went real well. We got to do the third truck in the, uh, third vehicle in the parade. Well, there are big trucks, their antique truck, and our antique truck, <coughs> and, um, uh, had a really good driver this year named Ken, and his wife got a chance to ride in the car in the truck, and then went up uh, that hill off Public Road out of Louisville, and got up to 95th, and then uh, uh, we start pulling over. I'm in the car behind him, and he starts pulling over to the side. And, uh oh, <laughs> and uh, he, heard, he heard the noise, and so um, he got out and so he stopped the engine as quick as possible. So the fan belt broke. Long is the short version of the story, and to my knowledge, it hasn't been repaired yet. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get this out for the uh, next weekend or not. So you know, our weekend in October. But uh, otherwise, that really went well. <coughs> he was a good driver and a good emergency solver, since that's what fire people do. So <laughs> I said, "What am I going to do now?" And he said, "I'm on a tow truck." So, Katie, were you? A you and I must have been across right, the across street, the street from each yeah. other taking yeah. pictures. Yeah, we took some good funny. pictures. I was looking for yeah. you in my picture. Yeah, right? oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Katie sent a picture of me. Like, and I right from the other side. The other direction. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Katie, and you had the family there, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was kids. so hot. It was so, the parade yeah. was so hot. Yeah. Brian, just yeah. trying to say something. Oh, yeah, I was just going to add, uh, I talked to Matt Rarick on our park staff. Um, mm -hmm. He's going to try to get that fan belt replaced by the 5th. Okay. So to get it out. Great. On the next museum opening, so that's yeah, the goal. Basically. I'll try to get it. Um, may, may I suggest that we send a thank you gift card or something to Kim mm -hmm. for his time driving the truck and everything? Yeah, I plan on bringing it up when we get there. Okay. We sure will. I think. I think. Yeah. He was. He was outstanding. Um, I had talked to Kim a little bit about the fire truck and you want to wait till we get into this <coughs> before I bring some of that up or well, what other what can get into? Well, anyway I talked to was talking to Ken for a little bit and he said they would be in uh, the, the company he's with the fire company Rocky Mountain Fire yeah they would be glad uh, to have us uh, allow them to hook that uh, pump her up to water and see what works and what doesn't and what leaks. In fact, he said we would really like to do that. So, yeah, thanks for reminding me that I forgot about that. Yeah, so we've been talking for a while about seeing if the pump actually works uh, on, the, on the truck. So that'd be. Yeah, and if it, if it doesn't work and it needs repairs, we're not talking about spending money to fix it. We just are curious to see if it will work. That, that might be nice to organize um, before it gets really cold so that the water splashing around won't be 
causing eyes underfoot. <laughs> um, okay. Didn't go to the round table yesterday because we had we were invaded by munchkins yesterday, so uh, <laughs> I wasn't able to get over to the to that meeting. Uh, Katie and Lindsay were at the Chili Fest. What you got to say about that, Katie? Um, I'm really glad we did it. Thank you to the town that they, you know, gave us a space. It was kind of <clears> short <throat> notice. Um, I'm really glad that we did it. It wasn't, we did not get very many people that came up to us, but we were there with OSAC, like all the other committees. So I think it was really important that we were there. We had some good conversations just with like the open space people and um, all those different groups. Um, it was really windy. We had these, the framed pieces. Lindsay and I held the framed pieces <laughs> on the easels for two hours or something. Oh <laughs> um, it was, and then like right as it was slowing down, right when we were ending, then the wind, wind died down. Of course. But I, do, but I do think that it was a really good thing to be at. It was kind of a quiet little lane right there, right? You know, like people weren't on, but that's okay. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it was great to at least be there. Um, so I think it is something we probably think about doing in the future just for getting more volunteers. And um, it was just interesting that all those other committees, they were all there. And we, I don't know, you said we've done before? We used to, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so it was good. I mean, it's definitely, and it's fun. It's fun to be a part of that little town, town row, all the town thing things um so it was good not very many people came up um, it's good to have a presence but, and the exposure yeah. and so what have you and you did yeah have some interaction on the yeah on the, uh, we had some too. yeah some and it was great to see Lindsay. um she's in central city is that right yeah, what? yeah. oh my gosh Oof. she's <laughs> just telling me about that town and <laughs> all this stuff and she's working on a new city ordinance that she's trying to get passed for so she's doing i mean it's a sounds like it's a tough uh, challenging job but it was great to see her so and i told her how thankful i was that she was able to help so that's it thanks for being there and uh, this project you want to tell is it's on the agenda yeah it's on the agenda okay never mind sure. um, we probably are since we're on debriefing we talked about yesterday's field trip yeah um, mm -hmm. All survive things, it? How does it work? All things considered, it went pretty well. Yeah? Yeah. Good luck. We, got, we caught a break because Monarch only had 60 kids and 58 kids. Okay. So, so we divide those into three groups. That's only 20 plus in each group. Rather than so did you do the outside at the museum or could yeah. you not do it? Who? No, I was outside at the museum. And then? Larry was in the museum okay. and Wally had all of the parts. All of them. <laughs> Yeah, so it was had really the most not enough people. No, yeah. no, but so, I'm glad. Sorry that none yeah. of us. And as we got to the end of that, the last group of kids uh, that came through down at the grass hole, uh, all, actually all the kids were pretty good, but they had by that time it was what two hours or something like that, and I actually ended up losing losing them interest-wise. I they just got to the point. I mean, it wasn't because the adults and the teachers weren't trying to keep them under control. I think they, it was hot, they had just had enough. And at the very end there, I finally, uh, doing one of my orientations, I just stopped, I quit. And the teacher looked at me and she said, I think we, they really need to go up and run around the park. And so we ended it, <laughs> but they were gone. <clears throat> so um, Wally had the most challenging job. Um, and, uh, but I also had the billy club. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you really yeah. used it this yeah. time. Did, did you have your building club? Yes, I did. Uh, well, it was just a shovel handle. Yeah. They knew what it was. So you yeah. typically have two people down here at the parks. Yeah. And then at one least at three. The, and actually we have three yeah. at the house. Yeah. 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 Three at the house typically. Yeah. Because I was just telling Katie when I was walking in, prior to the next one, I sh I don't know if you have anybody has time, but... I don't really know the facts that you guys share with the children mm -hmm. on these field trips, so it would be helpful for me to maybe do one and take notes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I know little bits and pieces. I was at the uh, last night at the uh, 
what is the block party mm -hmm. in the jail sitting there and all the chamber people like, what is this? What is this? What is that? I'm like, well, it's a jail. They're like, what? <laughs> I don't know all the facts, but I know that. I'll find out. <laughs> One of my relatives was in it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, kind of in response to Vicki's comment there, um, <clears throat> Bob Morgan and I spent, what, 45 minutes on the phone the other day putting our notes together. He's written up some, this is about what we say in Asti Park, yeah. which involves the story about the schools and the mine cart and the, the memorial flagpole and also the history of Asti Park. Anyway, Bob and I both wrote up some stuff about that and then we kind of combined our stuff on the phone the other day. So we're going to have that all written up so that if somebody wants to read that over and then fill in, and yeah. or, well, not fill in, but add to the people in the park up there, they'll be able to do it. And also, um, Jill needs this for her, for the thing she's doing on her project, that QR project. She's that, done Grasso Park, I think, but has yeah, not done that. Yeah, that reminds me. Uh, she has the Grasso Park. That would make that available also. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind writing that up. So, like, if you guys can email me what happens at Grasso, I mean, it doesn't even have to be formal. But if we yeah. just say this is what we normally do, we stop here, we stop here, and then same thing in the house in general. I mean, I've basically learned from Mary and Alan was doing some of it. There's like those key things that you talk about, and then there's kind of, you know, and then you kind of go, so it, it would probably be good, really good to have some document. Yeah. Um, yeah. So really I don't mind like, the newer people I don't mind it. bringing all that together. And I Bob, just need emails. Actually, Bob and Denzel, you know, educated me on what to say in the park mm -hmm. quite a while ago, because I yeah. had listened to them for several years, I think, yeah. yeah. Um, one other note on all of this, surprise yesterday, all of you may not be aware, but we have two models of the, the old schools and all their playground equipment, and Herb Morrison put those together for us. Herb was a previous member of the commission here. At any rate, his grandson was there as a chaperone yesterday, and we didn't know him, but we found out he was um, Herb Morrison's grandson, so nice. that was so kind, of, the, kind of fun. The second grader was Herb's great grandson. That's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. And that's what we heard. He was saying, "Look up there to the picture of Bob and Herb in that display on this ornament." Uh, said, that's your great grandpa up there. And I said, Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Okay. yeah, well, that's great that they showed up. Yeah, yeah he, he was very. Uh, sentimental about saying that he was, he was affected by it. Um, and, I, and Jill, I think, has written up the uh, Grasso Parks. We might be able to pull together. Okay. So. so if you guys, I'm willing, if you guys want to email me, I'm willing to kind of put all that together. Well, in, you have informally. Yeah, we have a, another situation in the barn. No, well, number one, I, I hadn't intended on opening it up because I didn't think we were going to have time and we really didn't but number one the padlock as much as I tried I could not open it but lo and behold one of the kids looked under the door and apparently there's a rabbit laying up in under there um, okay. you know and sleeping. of course they found that <laughs> <a> sleeping <laughs> Yeah, he was he was not play he was not sleeping a long deep sleep. And even one of the teachers made well, he looks like he's been there for a while, but he's not smelling yet. So uh, it's like so and that's I was good. gonna you open the door open after, it. No. I was gonna open the door after everybody left, take a look, and I could not get that lock to, to let go. So anyway, that you know, that's probably something maybe Heidi ought to check it to it yeah. and see if she could uh, yeah. Is that a key lock or a combination? No, combination. That's a, those are those kind you have to push on them. And think yeah, I tried everything I could think of. I even talked Polish to it. <laughs> 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 I didn't do it to her. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's getting pretty serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure it could be operator error, but I could not get it to her. Probably not since you would already done one three or four prior to that, so. And sits out with the sun beating on it a lot, so it probably yeah. gets dry. <laughs> well, um, okay, so um, we'll follow up on this orientation. Otherwise, going back to what 
Vicky brought up, and I think the, one of the best things to do is to is to observe and listen to mm -hmm. folks, just to soak it up and, and uh, yeah. mm -hmm. be a part of crowd control. Mm -hmm. so we all done. Get yeah. comfortable on that, and it's uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, actually. that's how we all started out. Yeah. So. I, yeah, right, be good. but I do think on top of that, it's nice to have you know because yeah. I did that, yeah. but then right. kind of by the next one, you still yeah. don't feel. Sure. But if you oh, have like the something in your hand, valuable. you yeah. are correct. Yeah, there was two ladies down there who was artists yesterday in the mix of all this. They had their easels and stuff set up. <laughs> and it was a little difficult to keep the kids from running right through where they were. And I went down and warned them that they were coming. And one of the ladies said one of the kids was standing there looking at it, and I think he almost touched her paint. Mm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I tried to keep them under control on that because they had stuff sitting out, and they were running through it. Over the years, I've had a lot of artists, a lot of painters and photographers at Grassville Park. It, oh. It's very, very uh, photogenic. Um, we did have a lot of parents there yesterday, though, which yeah. really helped. Yeah. Yeah. The teachers were parents. real 10 or 12. well prepared, yeah. and the parents were, in general, helpful. That is one I had to say, I'll handle this. I'll handle this. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of them were talking to the teachers more than they were talking to the. Well, she, is, she was taking over my 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 routine. Hey, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, I just, oh, step on toes. Oh, I think I know who you mean. Because I'm in the agenda, so I'm, she, I'm in the union. So uh, she chimed in on the mine car too. She's the one who was, was going to catch the plane. She should be on the, the commission. No. Yeah. yeah. No, this was a different one. Different one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, all I can say from first hand, there's nothing going on at the cataloging department. But I did um, happen to run into Matt Magley down here one day and, I said, and asked him if he knew anything about how to uh, get a, um, like a grant or something to have a, an intern who could work at getting our downstairs organized better and so on. Uh, I'm going to pull together some information from uh, Lafayette and uh, and he, he said, give me some information and we'll look into it. So, because I think what happens is, you know, if we had a concerted effort by someone who's semi-professional, at least, uh, you know, uh, get caught up and uh, at least get um, some things put in some places where they ought to be instead of just on the table. Um, number three, oral history project, I suspect. Same story, Mary. I, I think we'd have to, to wait for Jill because yeah. um, she had talked with this chap, and I think toward the end of summer there was something going to happen. So, yeah. and I wasn't at the last meeting. So. Okay. Uh, number wait four. Oh, excuse me. Anything else? Yes, I, no. Sorry. Number four then is um, the <coughs> correspondence. Correspondence. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Karen, and I agree with Karen that the United States. Send a card or more to Ken Carpenter, the driver of the fire truck. So yeah. What do you suggest, Karen? Um, I can do a card that um, whatever everybody thinks we want to do. I mean, I can write the frequently. I write thank you notes on our letterhead that has, you know, our the thing at the top. But um, I can send a, a card. Um, did you want to do something more, or you want to consider a gift card or something like that? I think it would be appropriate. I mean, he had to come down early. I mean, he took his whole morning, and with the truck breakdown, it took even longer. And yeah. I just think it'd be, it isn't like we don't have the money. What do we do? Yeah, yeah a gift sure. card. Sure. A, a gift card of some kind would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Fifty bucks or something. Sure. So, Brian, yeah. if you can get that and let me know when you have it, yeah. then I'll come get it and put it in the card. Like $50 to Target? Something like Target that. Sure. Yeah. 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 Shoes or anything milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, do you have his address? I will. I oh. will need it, yes. Yeah, I yeah. So, I guess we just call the firehouse and get Just down. Um, no, it wasn't. The firehouse down here. Okay, I can get that address somewhere. I don't think that'll be hard to get. Oh, you send it to the firehouse, you mean? Well, okay, that's my question. Do you want it to go to the firehouse, I or do you want to go to his house? I think you should probably go to his house. 
Oh, all right. Uh, then that's my opinion. In that yeah. case, I need the address. Yeah. <laughs> we had him on an email, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, I didn't think it was his work email. I don't know. I mean, it's probably easier to send it to his, to his, to one of the fire station that he's at. But um, I can always send, look him up. Do you want to send it to print? Yeah. On online and find out where he lives, unless there's more than one Ken Carpenter. He lives over in Bertha, I think you said. So. Oh, Bertha? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, I can look him up. That's not... okay. You know, if I run success, into a problem, I'll, I'll call them. Yeah. Of us can call them. Okay. Station. As an aside, I just thought of this that he he also was the guy who back in what was it, 2007 or whatever did the estimate on yes. restoring the fire truck. So, oh. so, he, so he was very interested in how much did that cost. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, because uh, <laughs> because he put in a figure. I think we may have come a little bit under that figure. Uh, he, he restores old cars. That's part of, part of his, mm. one of his hobbies. So. Yeah, he was the one that brought it up to the pump too. So it wasn't, yeah, I did, I did bring it up to him. Okay. Um, Any other correspondence? Well, I thought. Excuse me. I thought it'd be a good idea. I would like to suggest maybe sending a caps a congratulations card for the sculpture. Oh, to the Caps Group? Yeah, to the Caps Commission yeah, okay. on a nice job, kind of at a committee or something. <coughs> yeah. uh, I, I don't know what you guys all think, but you know, that was quite, it took a lot to get that sculpture up in the roundabout over there. Is that where they put it in the roundabout? Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's huge. Yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah, it's, I really like it. We hear pro and con. Oh, sure. That's our, it's always going to be the case. The yeah. people complaining but we really like it <laughs> even wally yeah wally likes Actually, it <laughs> and i told him so. all right good <laughs> what do you think does that sound like an okay thing or is it yeah yeah good idea but i okay. think you know we're doing this so much inner committee uh, action here i think it's good to keep keep good relationship going um now is there a person on caps we need to send it to or what I address do we use them. for caps okay. to Right or more, send it to the chair or? Um, just I mean, it's probably easiest to give it to, uh, drop it off at our office. Uh, Dina on our staff is the CAPS liaison and she can hand deliver it oh, to them okay. at the next meeting. Yeah. So I'll drop it off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe at the same time I get the gift card yeah. from you. Okay. okay. While we're on that, I think I asked this last time and I don't remember what we come up with. Did the uh, developer uh, end up putting money in for some of that artwork and it ended up some of that got put in on that thing on the roundabout <laughs> well I'm the project on the, on the roundabout there you go <laughs> yeah I mean I'll have to plead a little ignorance on that as far as how that was all I mean I know Caps has some yeah I don't know the only <laughs> reason I asked that question is because I've had some people Oh my gosh, how much did that cost the town and on and on and jumping up and down and and I sort of came to the tried to come to the rescue and said, Well I think the developer put a bunch of money in that uh, because when Karen and I was on the first pro uh, arts project, the developer put in what was it, a hundred thousand dollars in that. So that sort of quieted them down. I mean I get tired of hearing, Oh my gosh, it's taxpayers' money. What yeah. Laura, so, do you have yeah, so it does come from the developer, but at that said, we only have a limited pool for that fund. Sure. So any money we use for one project, we then can't use for another project. Well, so yeah. it's still, so we still really want to be budget conscious. Yeah. So there was something out of the yes. town budget for the sculpture. I'm sorry. There still was money out of the town budget for the sculpture. No, that's what I mean. It comes from the TIF, so. It doesn't oh, come from right. the budget itself. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me let me double check that. But that's yeah. my that just gives me more ammo to. <laughs> yeah, then we have a response people. to yeah. these people. I mean, Caps, yeah. that. Caps does have a, had approved in this year's budget like significant money for like public art and events and whatnot. But as oh, far sure. as yeah, allocated to so. that, I don't know. You know. I'm out of that shindig tomorrow well, that I you guys have seen this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I saw one the other day on the next door about 
caps are doing a survey. How much does this cost the town to do the survey? So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it, it the cost of the probably wasn't that much. <laughs> um, Okie dokie, number five, uh, I went over to uh, county land use office. And, was that last week? And the, the committee there, the land use committee for Boulder County approved uh, all that's going on with the cemetery. So it was, it was just a formality, but at least it's, uh, it's finished. And so um, just a quick review since they landmarked, the Boulder County landmarked it before they turned it over to the town of Superior, they had to get that approval. But that's, uh, again, it's, everything's all good. They were complimentary about the uh, plans and, uh, and so they were very, very supportive of it. We've got a green light on that, which that slowed it. That yeah, slowed that slowed it down. down. Yeah, Karen Stortland and our staff met with a uh, cemetery consultant yesterday, and okay. so we're going to get moving on um, some of the approved work up there. Um, the radar was performed. We don't. It wasn't a survey, so um, the radar was only performed around the, like ten feet within the proposed perimeter path. Um, Cause you know there were like four loops, actually kind of more like a trail, but. Um, we'll be doing that just the perimeter trail this year. So the, the radar was performed um, just around that. So it's, there was, I don't know how many, there was quite a few, like they call them anomalies, like within um, the actual trail. You know, I don't know um, whether you can say, because, you know, looking at the map of it, you know, it could just be one gravesite or it could be a family you know i guess mm -hmm. you know you really don't know but um i'll have a little more, more details to share with you on that as we kind of progress a little bit forward but uh, the short of it is um we'll ju we're going to make some accommodations to <laughs> that's quite pretty <laughs> we'll make some accommodations uh with altering that perimeter path a little bit so it's kind of skewing around some of those um, mm. anomalies. Okay. So they, we will make that effort. So that's gonna alter it a little bit, but it'll still be a perimeter walking trail, uh, like a crusher fine material. Uh, will only go like five inches in depth. So it's, it's only gonna be five inches. Um, as far as the color of the material, I mean, probably trending towards more like a brownish as opposed to like the, a dark gray trail. But, We'll get moving on that, um, kind of working on putting that together um, in a scope for possible landscape companies. Um, in addition to that, the interior gathering area, that space, so that'll be, you know, right when you walk in the gate, about 30 feet wide, kind of semi-circle. Um, concrete pavers kind of throughout that. Um, and then looking at some stone block bench, kind of bench seating there and Roughly three interpretive signs. Uh, that's when we'll probably bring the working group back into it to help us with uh, what those signs will actually say. So, um, a couple of the decisions Karen and I had to make with the consult the cemetery planning resource alliance company. But we'll bring the working group back in to kind of help us with the with the sign signage. So that's that's moving on. Um, again, there's thirty thousand in this year's budget. I think we have twenty two left to do this kind of labor intensive stuff and that'll get done. And it's looking like in the preliminary 2020 budget, there's gonna be another, um, if approved, another 30 for next year. So that's kind of that additional work, um, possibly rounded, you know, doing the additional loops or the, those four loops then and um, the gate, headstone repair possibly. So that's kind of a long answer, but there, there is some uh, movement on this project finally with now getting the green light so how much do you think is practical to get done in this year oh i think we'll get the we'll definitely get the, the perimeter trail done and i think the uh, interior gathering space that kind of semi-circle and uh yeah. interpretive signs will be up as far as mounted with uh, uh words you know i don't know it depends how fast are they going to be like on a um like like this or like on one of those ones where you walk up and you look at it yeah a pedestal uh, or yeah probably like more like a pedestal with the what it's slanted i don't okay. want to say exactly like asti because i think we're going to work to get something that's a little bit more um durable those kind of have to 
in the sun. They, they yeah. seem to fall off uh, over time. But um, I'm going to get in touch with Boulder County to see what they use. And, mm -hmm. um, but, cool. So, yeah. Okay. If I may, to get back on, you were talking about those anomalies in there. I think the first time we had that done when we were doing with the fence, yeah. they went in there and uh, all that tells them is that at one time that ground was disturbed. Yeah. So they have to act sort. Of, they have to assume that there's something there, mm -hmm. and uh, because there was some of those sites that were moved out a long time ago and over to Louisville, but yeah. they still don't know whether there's actually. They can't tell whether there's a, ca a casket or whatever you want to call it in there. It's just that was disturbed, and there's probably was something there at one time if it's not there now. Yeah, exactly. And I think and we were told like technology has improved, so the radar I think is more sensitive yeah. to what was picked up in 2003 um, when that was performed. So um, oh, I hope to share some with you guys uh, the next couple months as far as the kind of mapping of it, but. Um, Picked up Sounds a bit. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad it got delayed, but uh, if they can get all that yeah. done by the end of the year, that's yeah, great. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Katie's gonna bring us up a bit on the sports sure. stable photo project. Sure. Um, there's a lot happening. Um, these are, I'm passing out these little flyers that went out, um, and we have extra copies of them. Uh, so the chamber has been, TJ has been so wonderful and so helpful. They sent these out to all their members um, and he helped write this letter with me. I kind of sent like a, I don't know, I wrote it up and then he changed a bunch of it, which was great. Um, and I just, I, I'm just really grateful to, to them because this will make a big difference for us, I think. And um, we, there's an invoice, Brian, did you get, did you get yeah. the invoice to Brian? Okay, I got you. okay. Um, so we've had two people, two businesses respond already, which is really exciting. So now it's officially a success. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like thinking how many, if only these people respond, do we have a wall? And we do, I mean, we have enough, so. Plus the, the chamber, huh? um, Yeah, so we'll do it the chamber. And then if the town, I don't know if I should like ask you or if I, who I should ask about if you guys would like to support it. Yeah. Um, I know we had talked about that a long time ago. So yeah, there's two businesses that have responded already. Um, and I guess some of my questions now are, well, first of all, I'd love to be able to either put some of these here at the town and maybe at the sports stable. Um, I have just the flyers also. But it'd be nice to like, maybe I'll see if we can put some. Or I just yeah. ask, ask at the front. Yeah. Um, and, okay, so the questions are, how are we going to invoice this? Because people want invoices. And, you know, I mean, I can make up an invoice. That's not hard, but um, it probably should say, I mean, it's, should, it's the town, you know, mm -hmm. so we can talk about that separate, but yeah. um, already one of them was like, great, we want it, can we get an invoice? Um, so we have to figure that out. Get an invoice first, is what you're saying? Yeah, for these, but yeah, for the businesses. Um, and then I guess what account will this money go into? And then I need to invoice the commission for the pieces. So, um, so now that people are actually doing this, we have to think about this stuff. So, um, so yeah. So I don't know if you want to talk separately about it yeah, or if we well, want to talk yeah. about. Let's, let's kind of, yeah, we can have okay. that out separately. Um, it doesn't need to be a fancy, you know, thing, but obviously we need to come up with that. Um, and then, yeah, what account this money is going into? It, it, should this go into, I mean, there's not, you guys, the commission's not gonna, there's not gonna be huge, huge profit in it. Um, but I'll, we, we, Art Source, will try and discount it as much as we can. Um, to have some profit in there, but there's not going to be, you know, profit, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, um, so we can talk about that, but, and then people, um, my, my thought is that I will give them photo choices. 
I'm not going to let them like choose any photo. I might like come up with a PDF of the best photos from the collection that we have mm -hmm. and see and say so we choose, you know, out of these if everyone's okay with that. Um, I think that's a good the right way to go. Okay. And then if there's any photos that are Louisville, some of the good ones are owned by Louisville Historic, Historical Society, which I've already asked them um, we, that we have to pay them for that. So I'm going to do my best to come up with the ones that are ours yeah. um, first, unless there's a few really good ones that are theirs, and that's okay. We'll pay. I think it's like thirty-five dollars. It's not not crazy, but. Um, and that'd be probably the same for Carnegie too, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if there's very many in the, but I yes. Few, but yeah. Yeah. That's um, a good idea, though, Kathy. Katie. <laughs> um, and the deadline is November first to have them all done. So we'll see if more people. I'm hoping more businesses through the chamber will, you know, have this letter and respond by November 1st. If not, I still feel really good about it and we can put it here. Maybe we can put it at the sports table. Um, and yeah, so it's going very well. I was, I was just so impressed by the chamber and I, I felt like this was going to be like a big thing where we were going to do this joint letter and I was going to, we're going to have to mail it. He's like, we'll just put it in our mailer that we're doing. Yeah. I was like, so, so are the participants limited to chamber members or is it no no so may, I'm wondering if we want to also maybe put it on our town website or something so that if anyone's not a chamber, chamber member they yeah. can still absolutely potentially find out about it yeah it definitely does not have to be a chamber member we just we knew this would help it's a great way to get the yeah. word out yeah um, yeah and actually Larry you sent me something um, about the sentinel and I didn't get that done to put oh, something in the Sentinel. Yeah, yeah. But we have time, I mean, we have this month and next month. Sentinel we have, uh, next week. So. Okay, okay, great. Um, so <laughs> I will like respond to, to that. And any, do you guys have any questions? Comments, I mean, concerns? The Dorsey family is gonna, gonna, Cheryl and I are gonna get one too. Great. So, so mm -hmm. it's a personal thing, so. Great, so. Oh, great. FYI. Yeah. Great. Where will it be displayed in the in the sports stadium? Where I think the second floor corridor, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, not long between the restaurant and the bathrooms and the two sides of the the ice rinks. So it's a pretty busy corridor. It's a heavily traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that yeah. And then obviously, if there's a huge response. Then we had originally walked that we could do some maybe in the lobby, but I think I think it'll probably be that upstairs. There's a huge, huge long corridor uh -huh. with nothing on it. Yeah, is that where so the restaurant uh, goes? Just go to the restroom. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. Something to keep in mind. I was just thinking here um, as we proceed with this. You know, maybe in the future the land river building that the town now occupies and owns depending on how that ever shapes out that could mm -hmm. be another place you know, to location to put these, these yeah, photos yeah absolutely so absolutely. congratulations on moving there <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah it's pretty amazing all that natural light <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah natural light no more slap shots going on in yeah. the background yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I tell stories that's nice, great work Katie yeah, yeah Katie yeah. good yeah. work on that yeah. thank you yeah and then I guess we do, it's not that far away. We need, we should put this December 7th on our calendar because we will need volunteers at this skate with Santa. You know, the, 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 end, of the end of this is that we'll have, a, they'll all be on easels, I think in the lobby. I don't know, I mean, we haven't really talked all that through, but, but tentatively marked December 7th um, that we'll wanna be at that, at that event. What, what time of day is that compared to the museum opening? Well, we don't usually open Later. in December because of our potluck. Oh. But, uh, isn't that right? Oh, I know. Well, we don't we have a meeting. Yeah, that's what it I used meant. to be the... Oh, my fault. Sorry. Tree light. <laughs> Sorry, Mary, I did that wrong. 
Good question. <laughs> now that I understand. Uh, what time is skate with Santa? Do we know? I feel like it's ten. Is that what, is it that ten no, I would, two, or something? No, it's, no. A, it's, it's an late. evening. It's an evening. It is? Yeah, it was an evening <laughs> thing yeah, last year. Yeah. Oh, well, because it took the place of the light the truck, huh? light the tree. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know specifically. I'm trying to look at all the time from last year. It was. So then you're time. And it'd be cool to have the fire truck over there if it's not snowy. Yeah. In your goal little... is to have the photographs that people require on display. Yes. Uh, at December 7th. Yeah, okay. Yes. Got it. Well, this is great. Mm. Well, Katie, let me kind of wrap my head around that a little sure. bit and we can talk. So. Sure. Uh, so the next thing is the renaming of the Shan Shan Trail. Is anything new on that, Brian or what? I do not actually. Um, Wasn't it going to? Uh, you guys were deciding, uh, it, right? Deciding on the name. Name. The Shan Shan. Yeah, we haven't gotten. Yeah. Okay. So that's no change there then. Right. Can you update me on that? Is that a new trail or what? You know what? I'm funky little house was on the hillside up there. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't oh. make that into a trailhead. Oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, take some of the pressure off the trailhead okay. down here by the by the old depot. And so they've asked us to contribute some names. And you know they have like grand grand plans for that. Um at the Chili Fest <laughs> I was talking to the open space and mm -hmm. caps and they all, you know, one of them said, I wanna we wanna put a old railroad car down there and have it all you know so i said let's all just be in touch because there's lots of potential for really neat little spots there that we could bring in historic stuff mm -hmm. and where is it again it's on mccaslin like right up the up the hill up before you get water. to the key bank building oh where the key bank? before you get to the key bank right off before. the okay. yeah. way up so. The right working, like the dirt up there. You can see the construction right now if you drive up. Okay. It looks like they were doing some plowing up mm -hmm. there the other day, too. I think they were doing something on the irrigation dish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Were they going to put a parking lot or something up in there that's mm -hmm. a trail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where did the Shan Shan come from, the name? The owner of that house? Yeah, yeah the owner there, of that There was that, that land. Yeah, yeah. They got yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Basement oh, house, that's the one. Yeah. That's where it's going to be. That's why I always called it, too. Um, basement houses. So also going back, I did confirm with Matt and the initial money for the roundabout sculpture was paid by the town, but we expect it to be paid back by the TIF next year when the next set of bonds are issued. Oh, okay. So ultimately it would not come out of those taxpayer funds. And TIF is? The tax increment financing, it's the agreement um, with the developer around the town center where we get money back for certain public works. Okay, yeah. Okay, that just gives me some ammo. You know, Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we've suggested that we've uh, been talking for a while about having the Board of Trustees members come to the museum. Yes. And so far we've talked about uh, October 5th when our, after our regular opening at 2 o'clock. And Boris uh, made a couple suggestions. One is that we might have a second date for those that can't make it that day. And the other one is that we'll have. There's more than two up to post it as a meeting. That's right. Two members show up. So. so anytime we have more than two board of trustee members someplace, we post it on that board out there saying, as a heads up, we are getting together, and the public is welcome to do Sunshine action and here, huh? Correct. Yeah. For what it's worth, I don't think it's something to be too concerned about. I have posted parties at my house on that oh. board and not had members of the public come. <laughs> but it's just something it. it's <laughs> just something to be aware of. Um, so I think on at Monday's board meeting I'll propose um, the what was it the fifth no, of the fifth of October um, in the afternoon after the historical <laughs> museum is closed. See what the consensus is um, and if people want to suggest an alternate date I'll see what else they want to come up with. We will, for a while, we talked about doing it before you have your um, <coughs> pre-meeting for the trustee meeting. What's that called? Work session. The work session. But then there are still people that are at work. So I think that, that one time. is really challenging. Yeah. And we've had a lot of people on the board say we can't get there earlier yeah. before meeting. That's what so I thought, yeah. So, can can um, I just go back really quickly to this industrial mine naming? 
that is what I heard is that it was coming to you guys for a final vote. Um, sorry, I just don't, didn't want to pass this up before like the next meeting and and we just want to make sure you know that we would like it to be, that you know all those choices, you've been in the choices and there's all those historical yes. ones, the Denzel Acklin, the, all mm -hmm. these, the kite route, the industrial, you know, that we hope you would um, send along our yep. wishes. Yes. yes. Um, and maybe that won't happen for a long time, but. Need to be, need to be careful here. I'll email an update back to everyone. Okay. I remember it's come up a few times, but right. we haven't voted on it, so I'm not okay. trying to remember what the exact yeah. step this is. You know, I have here in notes, I don't know, or you may have this as well from a digest item from Matt, but um, the OSAC is supposed to present at a future budget work session on uh, this, the amenities, proposed amenities mm -hmm. for for that trailhead. So it doesn't say anything about naming yet. Okay. But, Sorry to get off. I just didn't. I just want to make sure that. As of an email last week, we were still referring to it as Shin Shin Trailhead. So I'm 99% sure we didn't make Nothing a decision happened. without no, no, my no, knowledge. No, no. But yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess I already did the uh, second grade field trip, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so we got the second grade field trip yesterday uh, out of the way. There's caps. There's yeah. no update for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just okay. Need to find out. Yeah, so uh, we're hoping that oh yeah we're hoping that September 27th and October 4th we have a little more personnel. Um, so I won't be out of town then. Don't count on me, but I might try. <laughs> well, we hope you can make it, Bob. Yeah. I'll be there. So, okay, yeah, you already told me that too. I think. Yeah. yeah I've, got, I've got this written down at home, so. Um, and just to know, the 27th. My son is going to be in the group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, very exciting. Well, it reminds me, our little friend Avery was in yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Group. How'd that go? Was she excited? Uh, she had her little contented <laughs> grin on her face again because she was the expert. <laughs> she was the expert this time. You know, she got to demonstrate how to sit in the chair and the, and the desk and so forth. So. Yeah, her yeah. mother said she was very excited. Oh, I bet. Good. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah, made her name. Yeah. Oh, I am going to go into, I mean, this would be neat if this turned into anything, but I had contacted uh, Tanner, my son's teacher, and said that I help with the field, field trips and um, if she ever wanted any more information. And she said, oh, can you come in and bring photos and talk about it? I mean, I offered to. I said, yeah. we have maps from my the store. And so I'm going to go in next week and talk oh, to their right. class yeah. um, and bring some, like, superior info and maps of Colorado and stuff about mining, so. What day are you going in, Kate? Going on Tuesday. Okay, so. good for you. Yeah. Your old coloring books were handed out again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One of the funny things was those kids took them into the education room, they were, you know, a stack of coloring books. They said, we have those. <laughs> I, well, yes, you do, because I bought them in your school. So. <laughs> but there was, like, there was connections that, that are yeah, I took to kids. Over. To Superior Elementary, and I was absolutely amazed on the security there. Yeah. I mean, I I know it's necessary yeah. these days, but it took me three different identifications to get into the school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame. Yeah, back. it is. Okay. Shame it is. Any other um, old business? Um, Larry, can we back up a minute? I'm not sure I got real. Okay. Really clear on how many people we have coming on the 27th? You mean of our, our people? Yeah, how many of our people are coming on the 27th? Okay. There's Raise your hand if you're coming on the 27th. So I'll, I'll be on the 7th and the 4th. Yeah. 27th. Okay, I'll do a tag along. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I would love to know prior to that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Which is so next. Friday, yeah, yeah, but still, it's great for you guys to be there. It's fine, and you can see it. We'll have yeah. donuts just for you. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll be there then. <laughs> Chocolate. Yeah. And then go outside, and then go that thing. Yeah, um, and then go to Russell Park. So, Katie, so we, we ask Katie, you Becky, Twyla, and Mary. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got it there, right? Is it 9 or 9 15? Huh? The kids come about 9 15? Yeah. Yeah, so 9. When does it? Be there at yeah. When do you estimate it's done? Kind of depends. We've got to finish about 11, 30, 11 mm -hmm. 45 okay. yeah. uh, yesterday. And sometimes it goes till noon, but by the time we have more trouble. Well, I, and I have.
have to apologize. I intended to be there yesterday. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I joined, I volunteered as an ambassador of the chamber the same time I joined the historical <coughs> commission again. So I'll be much more mindful of both <laughs> scheduling, but um, yeah, there's not a problem. Oh, yeah, we could. Yeah. How about October 4th? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah. 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 Well, okay, we got two things in the fifth, don't we? Uh, the regular opening and then the, uh, trustees. the visit by the board, by the trustees. That could be a little more demanding on our stamina. If we, but uh, if some people want to come in later and be here for the trustees visit, that'd be fine, I think. But uh, usually Wall and I open it and uh, close it so we can do something. If I, come in, if I come in at 145, that'll be all right. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like all those other visitors come in the last few minutes. <laughs> oh, okay, I beat everything. What are the hours again at the museum? 10 till 2. 10, 10 to 2? Yeah, 10 to 2. I ain't kidding on being there. Sorry? I said I intend on being there the whole time, even if the board comes. Okay. I'll probably do afternoon plus the board if you still need me by then. Otherwise, I can slink away. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. okay, we'll stay in touch on that. That may there may be some flux there. So, um, uh, I'll go. I'll get to the round table if possible next month, I hope. Um, and Fran seems to be just kind of languishing away there. And we got a, I got an email at the last minute for one, um, Did they have the for ice, last week. The ice cream social? Or? I never got anything more about Oh, okay. I, yeah. I had, when Renee called me to the, about the uh, new brochures, she had my number, and I and she said she'd bring the town hall. Yeah. I said said we haven't been getting the emails, and she said, oh, I'll pass that on. So maybe that's when you got that email, even though it was from, late. From Lakewood. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I didn't know. We apparently, had a meeting in Lakewood on Monday, so. Uh, so I, we'll have to oh, keep really? bugging yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we'll do our best to see what's going on at the end, Fran. See, I got online to look up their schedule, and I couldn't really find a schedule that was any different than what I had. There's just not any leadership right Yeah, now, right. So, okay. So all those details are getting passed on. <coughs> um, Twyla and Vicki, the Antrams, the Association of Northern Front Range Museums. So I was going to ask we're you. A, <laughs> we're a member of a museum association. So, um, and that we usually, used to be very active and met every, every other month at various museums. We hosted it once. Uh, right now, it's kind of needs a needs a resurrection or something. Um, okay, now number four is something I've been kind of wanting to do, so this is probably more my issue than maybe others. But uh, we, if we can agree on the idea, I've got some uh, possibilities. And, um, I did some research, and I've been calling all over the metropolitan area trying to find a trophy shop or whatever who sells display cases and I just, just, they just don't do that. every place I call said oh well, we don't sell that but what, what do people do they want a display case and, oh, I go online so, so <laughs> we're looking at um, I think Brian ran off some examples or something yeah two out the two options you sent yeah. me yeah mm -hmm. I mean, so yeah, we can pass these around. Um, I tried to highlight the, uh, so you can see a visual of each. I tried to highlight the dimensions and then you can kind of look and see what the features of each are. Um, one of them that dis the displays on the back, I learned printing off of Amazon. It's not, <laughs> not really um, always a pretty thing, but um, I also highlighted the total price with shipping. So we have a, the town has a business account with Amazon so we can easily order through them. So. 
So the one is six feet, 72 inches. Is that six feet? How's my room? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and then the other one's 78 inches tall, and they're both, I think, I was doing some measuring over there, and I think it was 48 foot wide would be too wide for the room. So. Where do you want to put it? Um, in the place of the current one. So we, we would uh, dispose of the our short one? Short that and short wide. Thing? Yeah.
we aren't your typical like museum that we want something real fresh and clean and new. I mean, it 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 would really stand out, but it'd be beautiful. To, I mean, it's not you know it. So it's just what we always struggle. Like, do you make it? I don't know. If there's a version that's like that that has brown wood, that would just they, make they all the drive, difference. It didn't seem that some of them, the visibility wasn't as good. Yeah. Um, but we can take, take another look. Yeah, but I but anything you choose is fine. That would be my okay. opinion. But yeah. I, it's Let's great to that. get something new for sure. Yeah. So. The one just looks like old glass. That so we have a slide. consensus on this. Do we think we have motion or just go and? Um, Leave Brian and I a little flexibility on uh, going. Trusting you? I'm trying to do. I so the budget. <laughs> I, I so move that we leave it to your wisdom, yours and Brian's, but <laughs> go ahead and purchase it. What, what we need. So it's been moved that we purchased a replacement uh, display case. Second. I second. And second. <laughs> Need other discussion? Yeah, that's all to be determined. It's going to be a probably a shared mixed use space, um, and that'll all get flushed out with some public engagement and stuff. So, yeah. You know, we've been talking. We're going to have some public input, citizen mm -hmm. input on right, how to yeah. utilize it. So, yeah. Uh, library. That's uh, what I will. Also, we'd say that. <laughs> library and rec center. Right yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it'd be a good place to park all your vehicles. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Katie, do you have uh, some spare? I do, and actually I was about to say, if anyone... I, I, I would like to sure. pick up about three if I could. Sure, and it would be great if out. someone could take some to the um, Louisville. Yeah. Okay, I'll grab a few. I have a few right, more. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The brochures. Those are nice. Yeah. Um, any other new business? Motion to adjourn. Make a motion with the meeting be adjourned. Mm -hmm. I second. Yeah. <laughs> now that the meeting is over, is there still any word on when uh, Tesla might be down here? So they are built, they're building right now, so we're hoping by end. Oh, wow. Okay. I was just, when I was getting my Starbucks this morning, I saw them over there today. <laughs> Lots of comments. Yeah, that's always what you bring.